Oxyclass Act is a plugin for Oxygen that lets you move or copy the styles that are associated with a class or an ID to a new class for any selected element. And it has two features or two main benefits. The first is to move all the styles that are associated with an ID to a class. And the second is being able to copy a class to a new class so that you can easily make variations like um, a blue button, red button, and so on. So let me first demonstrate um, the first uh, problem that this plugin is going to solve. Um, let's say we add a button and you make some CSS changes to this um, visually. Uh, so for example, let's say I want this to be a blue button. So I set that background color and let's say I set the hover color to um, black. Let's say I increase the button size. And change the border radius to say some uh, 20 pixels. And add some smooth transition uh, by going to effects, transition. that okay so now you realize that you should have done all these CSS changes um, after you have added a class but now it is too late so that is where you can use this oxy class act so I'm going to activate the plugin and refresh the oxygen editor Okay, so now you can see that um, this plugin has added these two buttons, copy to class and move to class. And what I want to do is to uh, move all the CSS that Oxygen has generated based on what, uh, based on the changes that I have made that are linked to this particular ID into a class. So I click this move to class button and uh, <clears throat> give it the class name and that's it so when we take a look at the front end the button is still going to look and behave the same as before except the CSS is now coming from the class but not the ID so to see this to verify this you can just delete this particular class from the element and you can see that it will default um, back to to the stock CSS that this particular element has. Okay, so let me demonstrate um, the second benefit, which is to copy the classes for variations. So let's say, um, let me just put the class back. So here you can see we have um, a button that has that is blue. And let's say I want to make a variation of this that is red in color. So I can simply click this copy to class and give it this particular class name. And um, then it doesn't make sense for me to have both these classes for the same button. So I'm going to remove this new class and add another button. And for this button, I'm going to put the new class button, right? And it basically gets all the CSS that the blue button has. And from here on, we can make some changes to um, make it different like that. 